Scotland. So that's clearly not where I'm at at all, but I did a quick trip to Scotland for five days last week with my best buddy David from San Francisco, and it was a quick project for British Airways, and this video is not gonna be sponsored by British Airways. This video is strictly gonna be some of the best things to do and some of the must things to do when you guys are visiting out in Scotland. Now we landed out in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is the capital of Scotland, and I would highly recommend if you guys are in Edinburgh, Scotland, buy your SIM card there. It was only 15 British pounds for five gigabytes for 30 days. Absolutely perfect. I honestly did not expect the SIM card to be that cheap for my first time out in the UK, but it was and it was awesome. When you guys are in Edinburgh, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check out is find a viewpoint. So we ended up checking out Arthur's Castle at sunrise. Ugh, I know, I know, it's Arthur's seat. All right guys, so we've made it out of the hotel room. Once you step out of the hotel, it seems like a different world. I haven't been to the UK ever in my life again. I'm used to typically Southeast Asia. I was just in Israel. And you see like castles to the left, castles to the right. They're probably not castles, but just very unique shape that I haven't experienced ever in my life before. We ended up catching a taxi and it's either a 45 minute ride, or sorry, walk there, or a 20 minute taxi ride. And the thing about that is the taxi driver saying that there's like no taxis near Arthur's seat like waiting for people. So we might have to actually walk 45 minutes all the way back and we have no data on our phones nothing at all so wish us luck but we're about 10 minutes from there it's supposed to be a beautiful viewpoint of the city and uh, we're gonna go check out Arthur's castle to start this video you ready for this David? let's do it another adventure with David Constantino <laughs> thank you very much so it is really cold and the guy did give us directions it's about 10 minute walk when we leave later uh, to find a taxi but we're at Arthur's Arthur's seat, at least part of Arthur's seat. He said it's a really good viewpoint, a really, really good vantage point, like right, right up there. And everything is kind of dark. He said use a torch, you can get sloppy. Ah, it is swampy. <laughs> so we're gonna hike up this for a little, um, and we're gonna hopefully catch a nice little sunrise over Edinburgh. <laughs> the best part is we have no idea how to catch a taxi. We don't have any data on our phones, anything at all. We were, uh, we made it a little late yesterday and the cell phone shop next door was closed, but oh well. Woo! <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> you okay? Still a shark. Woo! We got sunrise, it's been like about an hour and a half since we've been up here. We got a beautiful sunrise. Arthur's seat right up here, totally worth it. So I would definitely recommend to dress a little bit warmer, maybe get a SIM card on your phone so you know how to get back or know how to call a taxi. <laughs> but we've been up here for about an hour, hour and a half already. It's already like 7, 7.30. And we got an incredible sunrise out in Edinburgh to start our morning off. Oh, this is totally worth it. Dress a lot warmer, bring some hot chocolate to like pour on yourself and uh, enjoy an incredible sunrise up here. And sometimes you just meet nice people. So Ralph basically found us at the top of the hill. I shot the drone up, got some awesome drone shots, even though it was super windy. So I shot it up mainly in sport mode. And uh, he offered to give us a ride back down the hill uh, where we could find a taxi. So it saves us a lot of time. We're gonna go find a taxi, go to the hotel. We're gonna basically check out because we're doing one night here and one night in another hotel. And uh, we're gonna check out and then head to the next spot in Edinburgh. All right, so we went cross town. As you can tell the trend in this video, you gotta bundle up and dress as warm as you can. And I'm in like a little corner where we're at right now just so the wind hopefully isn't that bad with the microphone. And we're at Edinburgh Castle. So if you guys come out to Scotland or this area, let's say in general, you have to check out the castles, which pretty much is all we noticed out here in regards to like the architecture from the buildings. And uh, Edinburgh Castle specifically is like the main, one of the main landmarks in Edinburgh. And Edinburgh Castle pretty much dominates the entire skyline line in Edinburgh on Castle Rock. Now the first settlement is completely unclear at Edinburgh Castle and they basically said that this has been a royal castle on the rock since at least the reign of David the first in the 12th century and at times it's been a royal residence until 1633 so a long long time ago in the mid 1700s it was 
considered as like a military bunker, which they turned it into. And late 19th century, they turned it into, uh, I think it's considered as like a, like a national historic site out here in Scotland. What do you think of that, this place? It's epic. Pretty epic? Yeah. And as you might notice, there's tons of cannons like surrounding the castle. David actually just pointed it out that who would want to attack this? This has basically been besieged, they counted in 2014, at least 21 times in the history of 1,100 years, which basically is considered as the castle that's been the most attacked, arguably, in the world. So there's a ton of uh, battle cannons all around us, like all around the edges of the castle. We pretty much explored all over the castle, and it's a very historic site. At least check out a castle if you guys come out to Scotland. So it's pretty cold right now. We're basically going to run around for a few more minutes, and then we're going to head to the next spot out here in Scotland. Now the Edinburgh castle is definitely worth the experience if you guys are coming out to Scotland and definitely should check out castles after a cold cold viewpoint in the morning now shortly after that we ended up having a delicious lunch I paid around 17 50 British pounds, which is equivalent to around 22 American dollars for a salmon lunch. It was really, really good. And just next door, we went to the Scotch Whiskey Experience, which is whiskey tasting, something that they definitely recommend you guys experience. Coming out here in Scotland, it's one of the top experiences to do out here in Scotland, whiskey tasting. Now, I'm not the biggest drinker, so I wanted to really enjoy the experience, so I didn't vlog live when I was there. But you can basically say it was quite an interactive experience, kind of like on some type of a ride we went on. Just so you know, for the rest of the videos, you can take all the photos you like, just okay. no flash and no videos. Sounds good. So try to survive. Okay, thank you. That sounds really nice. Oh, it's me. It's still here. Look at the state of me. So we're at the whiskey tasting experience and it's, it's a full experience, let's put it that way. And it was a full interactive experience on this ride that basically ended in another room where we did a little scratch and sniff, watch a video about that, then we took our scratch and sniff into the next room, we learned a little bit more about whiskey and we did a full whiskey tasting experience. Definitely would recommend it, it was a lot of fun, it lasted around 50 minutes to about an hour, hour and a half, depending if you guys want to get more whiskey after the experience, and definitely highly would recommend a whiskey tasting experience if you guys are coming out to Scotland. Now we walked 10 minutes back to our hotel in the main area, I think in the newer part of Scotland and downtown, and we paid around 151 British pounds for each of our rooms. Now David's on a different floor, he's in a different room, so that's equivalent to around 185 American dollars for the night. So it's kind of pricey, kind of expensive compared to rooms and hotels out in Southeast Asia, typically what I'm used to, but the room is very, very comfortable. It's really, really nice. I absolutely love the location, and ever since the whiskey tasting experience, we've been basically Relaxing back at the room, David should be over in about five, 10 minutes. We're really, really hungry, so we ended up renting a car for the next three days, and then we're gonna be going to dinner right after we pick up our car. So let's get some dinner after this, and uh, let's get our rental car, and let me grab David. This is so much food. How's the steak? So much. So much. So good. So we ended up leaving the hotel. We ended up booking an Audi A4, which I'm super stoked about for the next few days. And we ended up making two McCurdy Steakhouse. I think that's what it's called. And it's the oldest owned steakhouse out here in Edinburgh. And the food is absolutely delicious. And it's award winning butchers here at the steakhouse. And we basically got a couple T-bone steaks. We got some prawns on top of it. The food. The food is so good. I absolutely love the potato. The steak is good. The prawns are good. Definitely recommend McCurdy's Steakhouse right here. I'm actually going to put a link below to the steakhouse if you guys are curious about the food because I'm a big foodie whenever I travel. Absolutely love the steak out here. We're basically going to finish the steak. We're going to call it a night, get back to the hotel because we have an exciting couple days ahead of us. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Now you saw a beautiful viewpoint. You saw a castle in the UK. You went whiskey tasting out in Scotland. You had a big steak. That was an incredible first day. Time to hit the hay and start off your next day. That rhymes. Wow. Didn't plan for that. So guys, we left Edinburgh this morning around 6 a.m. We've been driving for the last, well, David's been driving for the last like three, four hours. It's almost uh, 10 a.m. roughly. Yeah, it's 9.51 a.m. right now. We should be making it to our first spot on the next two-day stop, two-day adventure, which I was really excited about, unfortunately. 
the weather has really slowed us down to getting footage. We couldn't shoot the drone up as many times as we wanted to. And uh, the drive is still absolutely beautiful, but the rain is just kind of dampening what we plan on doing because everything is outdoors that we plan on doing over the next two days. So we're still stoked for the Isle of Sky Drive. However, it is raining. We should be at our very first stop in about an hour and 20 minutes, just over an hour. And I'm really excited for it, even though the, the rain is here, but we'll see what happens. Cross my fingers that the rain slows down. Ooh. Rain is coming. All right, so David's already exploring the castle. This is our first stop, the Eileen Donin Donin Castle. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be slaughtering it. And this castle is one of the most, if not the most, picturesque castles in all of Scotland. It's a very famous castle. It's in a lot of different movies, specifically James Bond, and also Harry Potter, if you guys are familiar with Harry Potter. Unfortunately, I'm not, but this castle is pretty epic. And unfortunately, it's been raining the entire drive all the way to this castle all day. Uh, I did get the drone up for a quick a solid drone flight for about five to ten minutes before it started pouring pretty much downpouring here this castle is actually involved in many many different raids and unfortunately uh, because of all the raids it was demolished at one point but then they rebuilt it in the 1900s now you could basically visit it because it's in a lot of iconic type movies and yeah check it out so I was hoping that the heat could clear everything up but you could see the castle right out there and it's a pretty incredible castle but again, unfortunately, it's been raining the entire drive, the entire day. Tomorrow, we're actually driving six hours back to Edinburgh. So we're hoping that the weather can clear up for today uh, once we get to Sky. And we have about two or three spots that we want to check out in Sky. But unfortunately, this weather, it's a mess. So hopefully, we're going to get out of here. David should be back shortly. And uh, hopefully, the rain stops. And uh, we should be at Sky. Cross your fingers, guys, that the weather holds up for us at least today, if not tomorrow. So after like a five and a half hour drive, six hour drive, we made it to Portree. Well, we're basically staying at the Portree Hotel out in Skye. So this is the Isle of Skye in Scotland, which is like the top attraction, the top thing to do if you're coming out to Scotland. A lot of my friends on Instagram actually messaged me saying, you guys got to check out the Isle of Skye. So we barely fit it into this trip, but we're one night out here in Portree, which is in Skye. And unfortunately today is rainy. So we asked the front desk, they said, based on the clouds, based on everything, there's probably nothing to do out here in sky in regards to what we want to do, which is the three or four locations that we want to check out, hoping today and tomorrow. So today we're going to basically call it an early night. We're going to lay low at the hotel. Since the start of the drive, it's still raining out here nonstop for the last six, seven hours. It's on and off, but it's raining like 90% of the time. So we're probably going to hopefully catch another good sunrise mission tomorrow. That's the goal and check out at least two to three locations before we head back out to Edinburgh. And uh, yeah, if you guys are coming out to Scotland, stay in Portree, maybe for more than one night and uh, check out the Isle of Skye. Catch you guys tomorrow. Cross your fingers, guys. Now, typically I wouldn't abruptly just interrupt a vlog like this. However, our last day, unfortunately, out in Scotland, it was extremely rainy, but I did although get some of the best drone shots of the entire trip. It did rain probably 60 to 70% of that day, but I guarantee the 30% that it didn't rain, I had a drone out and I got some incredible flights of the Isle of Skye. It was absolutely beautiful. And I would hands down say you could spend more than one night in the Isle of Skye. And like what we did, unfortunately, we only spent one night. I would recommend three to four days in the Isle of Skye to check out the incredible places that you can see. They're all within an hour drive roughly once you guys are on Skye and it was hands down some of the best viewpoints and best views I have ever seen driving through Skye, seeing waterfalls throughout the valleys. Let me tell you what, these drone shots will sell you guys on checking out the Isle of Skye.
unfortunately we only had time for Melt Falls and two other viewpoints. There's multiple viewpoints that I wanted to check out on the list. Unfortunately, due to the rain, due to our short amount of time, those are the only spots we were able to check out. But again, if you guys are going to Scotland, my number one thing to do for three to four, maybe even five days is to check out the Isle of Skye, especially if you guys like the beautiful viewpoints and if you guys are in for a heck of a road trip. Now again, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick video out in Scotland. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. One little plug into this video that I wanted to add is one of my buddies, Fletcher, actually created a self-love type course. He had recently created a brand new course on meditation, how to increase life satisfaction, happiness using meditation. I'm actually gonna put a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out, and it's pay as you go, so if you guys are interested in something like that, I know there's a 30 day meditation challenge. It's pretty interesting, pretty neat what he does, so definitely check it out in the description. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video out in Scotland. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this community, and welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new. If you guys enjoyed this Scotland video, which I hope it helped you guys travel out to Scotland one day, make sure you guys smash the like button, comment down below if you guys have any questions or anything else to add to this video, and make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified for the next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna enjoy California for the four or five days that I'm here to catch up with work, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.